What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for Renaissance Fair pickups? Hey, nerdlings. It's Jazby from Nerdy Blazing Cosplays, and you're watching Do You Nerd? If you have not already, please take a look at our Dragon Fest 2021 video. That was a great year that saw them in a new location. You can really see just how much they've grown. Right now, we are going to jump right into some of the pickups that we got. First of all, the booklet that they handed out. Obviously, you want your, your handy dandy information right there for you. The thing that I love, though, was the map. I mean, they have grown so much yeah. that they now need a map to make sure that you can see everything while you're there. But I love the hand-drawn style of it. <laughs> it's such a great little touch. It really is, yeah. This was not the only thing. Merch to help promote Dragon Fest. Uh, they happen to have something nice and sudsy for you. They had their own beer brewed for this occasion. This is the Fat Dragon. It is a vanilla cream stout. It was brewed and bottled by the Dragon Fest Dragon Council at Show Me Brewing with a 7.05% alcohol by volume. This was a tasty one too. It was a pretty tasty brew. Uh, nice and creamy, very, very smooth. Not bad. And we had to have one of the bottles because, did, yes. uh, you know, I mean, someone loves dragons just a little bit. Just a bit. little bit. Just a teensy tiny bit. Uh, something that goes along with Dragon Fest was the official Dragon Fest pin. It is a very, very well done. Looks like it's made out of pewter and it's got the year on it. It says Dragon Fest on there. It's really nice. It's got their logo and everything. And just one last fun thing. They had some coins that you could purchase to use at the fair. I love when festivals do this because it really gets you into the feeling yes. of being at these fairs. Plus, it makes for a great keepsake when you come home. Oh my gosh, that was exciting. It's gonna love be it. great in the uh, treasure chest. Something great about Ren Fairs are the fantastic homemade items that you see these vendors rocking, and generally you can't find these anyplace else, you know, outside of buying online. There was one booth that had so many fun felt based yeah. things. They had dragon tails, which was really cool, so you very, could have your tempted, own tail. Very tempted. <laughs> uh, they also had stick horses, so they had a multitude of colors, patterns, and everything. And they even had a specific accessory for your stick horse. Yes, I loved it. The creator had made some uh, carrots. That's a pretty one. Oh, it's a Pegasus uniform. Look at that. Look at that. You could feed your, your uh, horse or dragon. I believe there was also a chicken at one point. Yeah, hey, hey so, your I stick mean, creature's yes, got to eat, creature. too. <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't leave empty-handed. We saw this tray of felt veggies chopped up. Uh, of course, that big red and white mushroom, I mean, kind of has a yep. Mario feel to it, so and that drew us know. in. Nice little knife in there to chop up your, your cheeses and your meats and everything. We haven't decided yet if we're going to take the cellophane off yet because, uh, you know, it's keeping everything in place. We like how it looks a little charcuterie. Hey, it keeps it fresh that way. It does. But, uh, you know, fun pieces like that. Love seeing stuff like that. The Royals were uh, giving this one some trouble because of the red hair. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> I give it. Oh, I give it. <laughs> they also drew her in with a very cool artifact. Yeah, they made uh, handmade dragon eyes, and then they had little dragons, and I think some little fairies and whatnot. Um, I was really drawn to this eye right here, and it is just flat on the back, but they had given a good idea. They're like, you said you could go to the store and buy those pinbacks, 
and make it like a pin or a magnet or whatever. So I think I'm going to make it a pin to uh, add to my costume. But there was just something about this eye that was speaking to me. Oh, well, it's definitely rocking the colors you love. I know, my favorite colors. Well, dragons lacking eyes weren't the only creatures there. No, uh, there was you, other magical creatures. Yes, yes. What did you get to see? I got to have my picture taken with a mama unicorn, <laughs> and sleeping right next to her was her baby unicorn. It was so cute. We kept trying to, I mean, as mean as this sounds, we kept trying to wake it up just so we could look at it, but apparently it was really exhausted and didn't want to wake up so we could see its beautiful face. But yeah, I got my picture taken with a unicorn. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> oh, she's sleeping standing up. I wish I could sleep standing up. I knew I was trying to feed her a treat earlier. I didn't realize she was sleeping. She wasn't even open in her lips. She was so cute. <laughs> you're so pretty. You see, yeah, your, your straw's kind of hanging out your mouth there. You didn't finish your treat. Oh, I'm so sorry. I insulted you. <laughs> Nothing says fantasy quite like the magic of creating something out of thin air, such as a 3D printed mug. Which was a really cool booth that we were at. There was a bunch of different ones. I spent probably about 20 minutes there trying to figure out exactly which one I liked. It was a really tough decision, but we were both drawn to this like tool belty type one. The only thing I didn't like about it was the fact that it was all one color, so I may try to paint it um, individually later. It's a thermal mug, but what you do is it comes with one of these fake plastic cans so that you can pour a drink in there if you want to, or um, if you have bottles or whatnot, different sizes, they come with these really cool inserts that tell you for a 16 ounce or a 12 ounce, and you just pop them in there. So if you have a normal can, it doesn't you know, sink all the way to the bottom like that does. So I thought that was a really clever touch. Now, of course, any fun part of going to fairs, festivals, conventions, any event is running into some of your buddies. We ran into Craig Meister. He's got a great web page and he throws some YouTube videos up as well, giving you some information about the, kind of the inner workings of Ren Fairs. So we got to talk to him and let's pass it on over. Good day, I'm Craig Meister. I have a website that lists all of the Renaissance fairs in North America. I also have videos on my website that you can go watch. I have interviews with performers, videos of different fairs, many other things to learn on those as well. It is a very large site and you can find many fun things on there. I go about taking pictures across the fairs in the middle part of the United States as well. I have a link to my Facebook page that shows those and I get to meet many interesting people like those from Do You Nerd. I hope to see you at a Renaissance Fair sometime soon. Fair travels and fair roads and for all those who help put on fairs, whether you're a volunteer, organizer, or person that just takes tickets at the gate and pays people, huzzah to you because you make these fairs happen. Gramercy, enjoy your day. Thank you. Well, one more pickup. You had to get something dragon had based to get a black dragon. besides just an eye. I had to get a plushie of some kind. And this was a really cute, well made, handmade felt dragon. And he's got wire in his wings and his tail. And I just, I really liked the look on his face. And he's got cute little feetsies down here. Another great souvenir. I do like the two-tone color in the wings, mm -hmm. and there's a bit of a pattern on the top there of the is, wings. There is, yeah. There's there's a slight pattern to it, and I, I did like the, the yellow and the gray patterns. It's almost like a, a certain theme of colors. Gee, what I would don't that know. be? It might be a little close to Hufflepuff, but yeah, he's a cute little baby dragon. He's a min pin. Hardworking, patient, and a friend to all, so put your badge of paws up in the air. So I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to attach him to things, but uh, 
you know, maybe he'll be a shoulder sitter or a, a wrist sitter or whatever, but right now he just looks over my jewelry box and keeps it safe so that no one steals my jewelry. As it was nearing the end of our day there, we were getting ready to head out, but we did see Peter from Waves and Games. He brought his daughters along and they had a great time too. So first of all, it was nice to see another friendly face, mm -hmm. but uh, they, they managed to leave with a few pickups of their own. Well, hello. Good day, sir. Good day, Good day, to day you. ladies. You want to say hello? Yeah. Touche. Hello, sir. This is Tom. He does, and he's not wearing regular clothes, I know. <laughs> We're just leaving. So, Sarah, what'd you get? Horsey. What kind of horse? Um, is it a unicorn, yeah? This is what it looks like. Yep. See the crowns! You yep. shall see the crowns of my It has jewelry. princess crowns on it. And then this is oh, her this carrot. Is That's the carrot you got. And this is a Nora's carrot with the hound's tooth Where carrot. Where is my carrot? It's Where over here. It? And Nora got the green dragon. So yeah. Also, Sarah lost a tooth today while we were there. So that was a very exciting time. There you have it, nerdlings. A quick look at the pickups from Dragon Fest 2021. We're already ready and excited for Dragon Fest 2022. We cannot wait. Again, please check out the video that shows you a good look at the fairgrounds. See some of the stuff that's happening, some of the other cool vendors, a lot of really, really cool stuff. Uh, hey, give the video a like if you happen to like it. Check out the links in the description down below. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe, notification bell, do all that stuff so you can keep following us on more Ren Fair adventures and listen to Lady Lacey as she tells you... Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. Head out over onto the Retro Refresh and check us out on that lovely little website. And if we like it... We nerd it. We just need uh, mugs that refill themselves. Definitely. We do, yeah. Sounds we need some like, Doctor oh. Strange love going on here. Oh. Hmm. Oh well. Huzzah, nerdlings! Me any? Will I nope. blow the speakers? No, no it, it should <laughs> be fine. <laughs> Let me get rid of this. She's a we haven't decided yet if we're going to take the felt off or not because we like the way it looks. Just kind of charcuterie. We're not going to take the felt off? Damn it. Sit down. Sit down. No, sit down. We'll cuddle after the video, okay? I promise. Okay, now it's time. Alright. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No dragon, that's not where you live.